everybody! My name is Sam Luca, and I'm excited to be the interpretive naturalist at the Adirondack Interpretive Center this summer season. The AIC is located on SUNY ESF's satellite campus in Newcomb, New York. Situated in the heart of the Adirondack Mountains, the AIC is unique in being the only ESF facility that directly engages with the public. The AIC has been engaging society with nature since 1990, with SUNY ESF acquiring the facility from New York State in 2010. I am proud to be joining an internship program that has helped to give students experience in the art of interpretation for almost 30 years. With current circumstances surrounding the COVID-19 outbreak, the AIC has made the decision to keep the Nature Center closed until further notice for the safety of visitors. In order to keep providing you with educational content, this is our first installation of the Newcomb Naturalist Note series, where we will be focusing on the unique and key characteristics of various species you may find in the Adirondacks. We will begin the series with the official mammal of New York State, the Castor canadensis, also known as the American Beaver. The American Beaver in New York State has gone through trials and tribulations. The soft, durable qualities of beaver fur made it a highly sought after commodity in the mid 16th century, mostly to be used in the making of felted beaver hats that were in fashion in Europe. Prior to the arrival of Europeans to North America, there were approximately 60 to 100 million beavers on the continent. The discovery of the dense beaver population here in New York State made us home to a booming beaver market. The beaver is a key feature on the official seals and flags of many New York towns, including Albany and New York City, indicating that the trade in beaver fur was extremely important to the economy of 17th century New York. The high demand for beaver fur for over 200 years by Europeans actually led to the beaver being declared extinct in New York State by the 1890s. Between 1901 and 1907, private landowners and legislators released 34 adult beavers into the Adirondack region in an effort to reestablish their population. By 1928, the population had grown so significantly that a regulated trapping season was established. Currently, the Department of Environmental Conservation estimates that the beaver population in the Adirondacks is between 50 to 70,000. The beaver is the largest rodent on the continent of North America and the second largest in the world, following the capybara. One of the characteristics of all rodents is a pair of rootless incisors. These incisors have a harder material on the outside and a softer material that wears quicker on the inside of the tooth. This creates a sharp, beveled edge that allows rodents to chew efficiently. The size of an adult beaver averages between 3 to 4 feet long, and they weigh between 30 to 60 pounds. The typical diet of a beaver consists of grasses, aquatic plants, and woody materials. Beavers rarely leave the water for an extended period of time and are well adapted to life as a semi-aquatic mammal. This can be chalked up to the many aquatic adaptations the beaver has, including their tail, eyes, nostrils, fur, feet, and lung capacity to stay underwater. The beaver's flat, broad tail makes them a highly distinguished species. Not only does their tail act as a propeller for swimming, but it helps regulate the beaver's body temperature during the colder seasons and serves as a reservoir for fat storage. Beavers use their tail to slap against water, which acts as a loud alarm signal. The 9 to 10 inch tail helps to balance the beaver when they are carrying food and building materials for their lodges and dams, like a heavy log or a tree trunk. Beavers cannot see well and depend on their strong sense of smell and hearing to warn them of danger. The beaver's rounded ears and small nostrils have valves inside that close tightly to keep water out when they submerge underwater. The eyelids of the beavers are especially worth noting, considering they have three eyelids on each eye. The inner eyelids act as goggles so beavers can see as they swim and be protected from sharp twigs. These special features of the beaver's eyes and nose allow for beavers to exist and feed underwater. With 10,000 hairs per square centimeter, beavers have one of the most dense coats of any species. Beavers have two kinds of fur, the underfur and guard hairs. The soft, short underfur of beavers helps to trap air and hold it close to the rodent's skin in order to insulate the beaver. The long, heavy guard hairs act as a cover for the underfur to protect it and keep it dry. Beavers have a special gland near the base of their tail that produces an oil. 
Beavers spread this oil on their fur in order to waterproof it. Beavers have short legs with webbed back feet. The front paws are significantly smaller than the back and are used to dig up the roots of plants for food and for constructing dams and lodges. The back feet serve as flippers for the beaver as well as provide traction for climbing with the large claws attached to them. There's also a specialized nail on the back foot that acts as a comb for the beaver to groom its fur. The beaver is a resilient, well-adapted aquatic mammal. With just a small reintroduction and state protections, beavers have bounced back and are once again a staple mammal in the Adirondacks. The tail, nose, eyes, fur, feet, and lung capacity of the mammal all have characteristics to allow them to transition from the land to the water seamlessly. Thank you for watching our first Newcomb Naturalist Notes installation. In the next Newcomb Naturalist Notes, we will be looking at beaver behaviors and how beavers change their environment by building dams which can also benefit other wildlife species. See you then!